Welcome back everyone. I've had a couple of weeks off uh, with some good things and some not so good things that I've been doing but back again now and uh, looking at getting the end stops working today. Um, I was tossing up whether to use the software end stops with the TMC drivers uh, using the current sensing to figure out when they're at the, their ends. I've decided not to and I'll go through why in the actual video but I'm going to use the optical end stops and as I say just getting them installed and connected up and tested today so let's have a look at that now. Today, just going to get the limit switches set up. So we've got one here, we've got one on the X carriage, and we've got one here on the Y. They're almost in the right locations. Now, the cables that came with it weren't long enough. So I've just used some servo wire to extend them and basically just chopped them in half. These actually had uh, connectors on the end of them that I can use here. So I just chopped the cables in half and put the servo wire in as extenders and I may have mentioned I can't print the case I want to print for the control board on my Delta printer so that's going to be one of the first jobs on this printer. Once that's mounted up here I'll know exactly how long the cables need to be and I'll, I'll make some new ones that are just point to point with JST connectors on either end and just tidy it all up at that point in time. Okay so just looking at how I've got these set up, when I had a look at the uh, Big Tree Tech uh, doco I'm sure it's, there's more detailed stuff around but it basically had a rectangle around here and said end stops. So not really helpful but what I did I just took a picture with my uh, phone with the camera and you can see here that it's uh, uh, X Y Z and that's actually X minus Y minus uh, Z minus Z plus Y plus and uh, X plus up here and you'll see that it's actually got a V for voltage, G for ground and S for signal. That's how I determined which wires to connect up and that's all I've done here with these extension wires. So X min, Y min and Y max and they're the only three that I've got set up. Now because I'm not using the TMC drivers to do the end stop detection I've removed those jumpers off here as well. Actually it's easier to see on here. Uh, there the, the connectors there which I've just removed. Okay so let's have a look at the actual changes I made in Marlin uh, to get these end stops working. Okay so I've done a separate video talking about how to set up Visual Studio Platform I.O and getting the Marlin project all set up. I'll put a link to that down below so please check that out. It actually even references the TMC 2130 motor drivers that I'm using and getting them set up and testing them. On to the actual uh, getting the end stop set up. Now really there's not a whole lot to do here apart from just making sure that the use X min plug, uh, use Y min plug and use Y max plug are not commented out and I've also uncommented the uh, Z mid plug for the moment just because when I tried to compile it it complained. I actually have the option of using the TMC 2130s to do the end stop detection but because it's Core XY it actually moves the X and the Y motor at the same time even just moving the carriage across or something like that so I'm not too sure how that would work so I'm just going to stick to the optical sensors for the minute and down the track I may actually have a play with the software detection of end stops. Scrolling down further to the inverting. Now I actually found that I had to leave the end stops inverting false. 
um, and it worked fine. I guess it depends on your end stops. If you're using the same ones as me, it'll be fine. Anyway, look, I'll just power up the printer. Not too sure if you can hear that fan in the power supply, but I think it's uh, going to get the better of me at some point in time. It's pretty noisy. Anyway, once the printer is uh, powered up and everything like that, if we just connect to it, and I can send an M119, and that will actually uh, let me know the status of all the end stops that I've got configured. And the actual carriage is actually on the Y min at the moment. So if I just move that off the Y min and send that again, you'll see that the uh, Y min is actually gone off. And if I move the carriage off the X min, try it again you'll notice that that's now indicating open as well now if I just push it back onto the Y max it should be there uh, Y max is now triggered if you find that that's uh, round the wrong way as far as triggered indication then that's when you would come in here and just change this from false to true and then recompile and uh, load that firm, new firmware onto the actual controller board. And as I say, I went through all of that in that other video. So please go and have a look at it. So it's now at the point where I can uh, drive it off. And I can home the X and home the Y. So there we go, that's uh, getting the optical end stop sensors set up. If you like what I'm doing, then please do like the video. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new. And I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.